games new to me. Please like and subscribe. Hey guys, Rob here for Games New To Me. Welcome back to what will be a happy, happy, joy, joy, stellar video. Oh boy, I'm excited about this one. I mean, I'm terrified, but I'm very excited at the same time. If you hadn't heard already, and I'd be shocked if you hadn't heard already, a teaser dropped from Naughty Dog Games, and one of my absolutely favorite games ever, The Last of Us Part 2. I've got news about The Last of Us Part 2. I gotta talk about the trailer first, cause it had me feeling like a kid on Christmas Eve. Wait, Christmas Eve or Christmas? No, definitely Christmas Eve, cause that's when you've got all the anticipation pent up. Anyway, the teaser goes like this. The video opens up with a seated figure getting ready to play the guitar. Testing it and adjusting the tuning on one of the strings, at which point the figure starts strumming. It's a melancholy tune prior to the lyrics coming in. We notice that the person with the guitar is none other than Ellie. She's sitting and playing this guitar, as the camera pans across the room a bit to show a scene of absolute carnage. As Ellie plays, a drop of blood runs down her face and it's clear that a tremendous battle just took place with Ellie coming out on top. Ellie continues to play as we watch a silhouette approach the dilapidated house. The camera falls from behind, and as Ellie sings the end of the song, I can't walk on the path of the right when I'm wrong. The figure in silhouette, camera observing over the shoulder, speaks and we instantly recognize Joel's voice. He asks Ellie, What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? Ellie puts the guitar down beside her and replies, I'm gonna find, and I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. Pan to black and the familiar The Last of Us music plays while goosebumps go up and down my arms and back. Oh wow, I mean, just wow. I know it's just a teaser. I know it might not even end up in the final game. I fell in love with The Last of Us before I even played it and the emotional arc that game took me on was unlike anything I'd ever been on before in a video game. Hell, most movies don't give me chills like that. I'm so very excited but also so scared to death for this game. Let me explain. On the one hand, I am overjoyed to finally be able to be back with Joel and Ellie and their world of clickers and bloaters and infected. It's so good to see Ellie. We never actually get to see Joel, but it's obviously him and it's great to hear his voice. All the emotions the original game put me through came rushing back and it was like visiting with very old, very good friends that I hadn't seen in years once again. But I also have fear and trepidation. What if The Last of Us is the type of once in a generation type of game that can never have a second act that comes anywhere close to doing it justice? What if The Last of Us 2 turns out to be a pale imitator? How do you live up to The Last of Us with a follow-up game and live up to the mythical levels of hype it absolutely has to live up to? After the original The Last of Us had been out for a while, I came across YouTube videos that were just soul-tearingly beautiful with fans of the game who said it changed their perspective on the world. I remember one video in particular where the gamer in question was so incredibly moved by The Last of Us that he said that he would like to have a daughter, which was a thought he had never entertained before. He was single and without children at the time as far as I know. Think about that for a second, a game that made a younger man think about his own future and contemplate things he'd never contemplated before and doing it so beautifully and lovingly. How does The Last of Us Part 2 follow that sort of amazing storytelling without damaging the original material? Maybe it would have been better if Joel and Ellie's story really was finished as Naughty Dog originally said after The Last of Us had been released. I don't have it in front of me, but they said fairly clearly that Joel and Ellie's story was done and if there would ever be a The Last of Us 2, it would follow the story of a new cast of characters most likely. Maybe Naughty Dog was onto something with that line of thinking. I would have been perfectly fine with The Last of Us Part 2 being about a whole new story and all new characters. I almost fear that, like, trying to outdo or even match the original game is damn near impossible. 
Should they be continuing the Joel and Ellie story? Please let me know in the comments below. But this is the perfect segue into The Last of Us Part 2 news. And it's some pretty major news at that and it dropped just a couple of days after the teaser trailer did. Neil Druckmann has confirmed with a post on Twitter that Westworld writer Hallie Gross would be joining the team to flesh out the entire story for The Last of Us Part 2. Druckmann said, Hallie's my kick-ass co-writer. Can't wait to share more of the story with y'all. Spoiler alert, it's intense. End quote. I'm not saying that I don't have faith in Neil Druckmann to deliver with The Last of Us Part 2 and learning that he's bringing on a writer from one of the best current day HBO shows only reinforces that. I don't know an awful lot about Hallie Gross. Obviously, Druckmann has a lot of confidence in Hallie, so that makes me feel better about the second installment of the game. Naughty Dog only just dropped a teaser for The Last of Us Part 2 and I'm already experiencing a roller coaster ride of emotions. I still don't know if Joel and Ellie's story shouldn't be over and done with because improving or even matching the original is an extremely tall order. I'm not overstating things when I say that many feel that it may be hubris to even try and fly that close to the sun again. I am so hopeful for this game. Whether it should or should not be made is beside the point at this point. Druckmann seems to think that there's a story still left to tell or he would have done The Last of Us Part 2 with new characters or a prequel or something that didn't continue the Joel and Ellie storyline. But if he's confident, then I'm confident too. I have to be, because whatever the result will be, I know this is one game that I'm pre-ordering the moment I can and buying whatever super deluxe version there is. I know that a lot of people don't just love, but adore The Last of Us and are hoping that The Last of Us Part 2 will be just as amazing, and I consider myself one of those people. I love The Last of Us, and I am praying that The Last of Us Part 2 just is able to match expectations. Once again, what do you guys think? Is this a good idea or should they have gone with a new cast of characters? Also, I don't care if you post spoilers because there aren't any spoilers to be had at this point as the story hasn't even been fully written. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the heck out of you all. To my growing number of subscribers, you guys are tremendous. And it's a joy to make videos for you guys. I'm in your debt and I mean that sincerely. If you just stumbled across this video by searching for every last bit of information on The Last of Us Part 2, won't you click that boldly colored subscribe button and give me a chance to win you over full time? You will not only be helping to grow a phenomenal community of gamers, you will not only have my sincere gratitude, but most importantly you'll always be notified whenever a new video goes up on the channel. This is Rob for Games New To Me saying, I am so excited and so scared for The Last of Us Part 2. Until next time guys, be good to each other, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, bye bye